Hindustan pronunciation is the Persian name for India, broadly the Indian subcontinent, which later became an endonym. After the partition of India, it continues to be used as a historic name for the Republic of India. A secondary meaning of Hindustan is as a geographic term for the Indo Gangetic Plain in northern India. Topic. Etymology Hindustan is derived from the Persian word Hindu cognate with the Sanskrit Sindhu. The Proto-Iranian sound change asterisk s greater than h occurred between 850 to 600 BCE, according to Asko Parpola. Hence, the Rigvedic Sapta Sindhava the land of seven rivers became Hapta Hindu in the Avesta. It was said to be the 15th domain created by Ahura Mazda, apparently a land of abnormal heat. In 515 BCE, Darius I annexed the Indus Valley including Sindhu, the present-day Sindh, which was called Hindu in Persian. During the time of Xerxes, the term Hindu was also applied to the lands to the east of Indus, in Middle Persian, probably from the 1st century CE, the suffix stan was added, indicative of a country or region, forming the present word Hindustan. Thus, Sindh was referred to as Hindustan in the nakush e rustam inscription of Shapir I in c. 262 CE historian B. N. Mukherjee states that from the lower Indus basin, the term Hindustan got gradually extended to more or less the whole of the subcontinent. The Greco-Roman name, India, and the Chinese name Shen Tu also followed a similar evolution. Topic. Current usage Topic. Nation state Hindustan is often used to refer to the modern day Republic of India. Slogans involving the term are commonly heard at sports events and other public programs involving teams or entities representing the modern nation state. In marketing, it is also commonly used as an indicator of national origin in advertising campaigns and is present in many company names. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan, and his party the Muslim League, insisted on calling the modern-day Republic of India Hindustan in reference to its Hindu-majority population. People In one usage among Hindustani speakers in India, the term Hindustani refers to an Indian, irrespective of religious affiliation. Among non-Hindustani speakers e.g. Bengali speakers, Hindustani is sometimes used to describe persons who are from the upper Ganges, also regardless of religious affiliation, but rather as a geographic term. Hindustani is sometimes used as an ethnic term applied to South Asia e.g., a Mauritian or Surinamese man with roots in South Asia might describe his ethnicity by saying he is Hindustani. For example, Hindoestanen is a Dutch word used to describe people of South Asian origin, in the Netherlands and Suriname. Topic. Language. Hindustani is also used to refer to the Hindustani language not to be confused with Hindi, which is a register of Hindustani alongside Urdu, another register of the same language, which derives from the Kariboli dialect under the Delhi Sultanate of present-day western Uttar Pradesh, southern Uttarakhand and Delhi areas. Topic. Historical usages. Early Persian scholars had limited knowledge of the extent of India. After the advent of Islam and the Muslim conquests, the meaning of Hindustan interacted with its Arabic variant Hind and almost became synonymous with it. 
The Arabs, enacting in oceanic trade, included all the lands from Tiz in western Baluchistan near modern Chabahar to the Indonesian archipelago, in their idea of Hind, especially when used in its expansive form as Al Hind. Hindustan did not acquire this elaborate meaning. It also did not acquire the distinction between Sindh, roughly modern Pakistan, and Hind, the lands to the east of it. The 10th century text Hudud al Alam defined Hindustan as roughly the Indian subcontinent, with its western limit formed by the river Indus, southern limit going up to the Great Sea, and the eastern limit at Kamarupa, the present day Assam. For the next ten centuries, both Hind and Hindustan were used within the subcontinent with exactly this meaning, along with their adjectives Hindawi and Hindustani. Topic: <laughs> North India. With the Turco-Persian conquests starting in the 11th century, a narrower meaning of Hindustan also took shape. The conquerors were liable to call the lands under their control as Hindustan, ignoring the rest of the subcontinent. In the early 11th century a satellite state of the Ghaznavids in the Punjab with its capital at Lahore was called Hindustan. After the Delhi Sultanate was established, North India, especially the Gangetic Plains, came to be called Hindustan. Scholar Bratindra Nath Mukherjee states that this narrow meaning of Hindustan existed side by side with the wider meaning, and some of the authors used both of them simultaneously. The Mughal Empire (1526–1857) called its lands Hindustan. The term Mughal itself was never used to refer to the land. As the empire expanded, so too did Hindustan. At the same time, the meaning of Hindustan as the entire Indian subcontinent is also found in Babarnama and Ain i Akbari. <laughs> Kingdom of Nepal usage The last Gorkhali king Prithvi Narayan Shah self proclaimed the newly unified Kingdom of Nepal as a Sal Hindustan, real Hindustan due to North India being ruled by the Islamic Mughal rulers. The self-proclamation was done to enforce Hindu social code Dharmashastra over his reign and refer to his country as being inhabitable for Hindus. He also referred northern India as Mughlin country of Mughals and called the region infiltrated by Muslim foreigners. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Colonial usage. These dual meanings persisted with the arrival of Europeans. Rennell produced an atlas titled The Memoir of a Map of Hindustan or the Mughal Empire in 1792, which was in fact a map of the Indian subcontinent. Rennell thus conflated the three notions, India, Hindustan and the Mughal Empire. J. Bernoulli, to whom Hindustan meant the Mughal Empire, called his French translation La carte générale de l'Inde, General Map of India. This Hindustan of British reckoning was divided into British ruled territories, sometimes referred to as India, and the territories ruled by native rulers. The British officials and writers, however, thought that the Indians used Hindustan to refer to only North India. An Anglo-Indian dictionary published in 1886 states that while Hindustan means India in the nativa parlance, it had come to represent the region north of Narmada River excluding Bihar and Bengal. During the independence movement, the Indians referred to their land by all three names, India, Hindustan and Bharat. Muhammad Iqbal's poem was a popular patriotic song among independence activists. Topic: <laughs> Partition of India. The 1940 Lahore Resolution of the All India Muslim League demanded sovereignty for the Muslim majority areas in the northwest and northeast of India, which came to be called Pakistan in popular parlance and the remaining India came to be called Hindustan. 
The British officials too picked up the two terms and started using them officially, however, this naming did not meet the approval of Indian leaders due to the implied meaning of Hindustan as the land of Hindus. They insisted that the new dominion of India should be called India, not Hindustan. Probably for the same reason, the name Hindustan did not receive official sanction of the Constituent Assembly of India, whereas Bharat was adopted as an official name. It was recognized however that Hindustan would continue to be used unofficially. 